Hey folks, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Justin Riley here. I'm really excited that I get to sit in uh, for Janet and Jessa on this segment because this is something that I think is just a really cool event that we're talking about. We have uh, Kay Whedon and Karen Went here joining us to talk about an event called Telebration. Welcome. Thank you. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for Thank, having us. Yes, thanks for being here on Talk of the Town. We always love promoting these events on our program. Now, this is something that's done through the Monona Public Library, but let's talk a little bit about the basics. What is Telebration, Karen? Telebration is a night of storytelling that happens all across the land. Okay. Um, it started out in the United States, but okay. in I think maybe in the 1970s, it started going international. Wow. So okay. now we call it the International Night of Storytelling. Okay. So this is not just happening at the Monona Library. That's right. Somewhere in the next two weeks, okay. there are teleprations happening all over the world. Wow. Very cool. That's so cool that we're, we're a part of that here. So um, there are different programs available if somebody wants to go. I know you have different programs available for different age groups. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. At four o'clock, we call it Little Wigglers. This okay. is intended for <laughs> For young children who like to move and and wiggle and dance and so we're going to have some bilingual stories um, cool. in Spanish and English and some English stories and a little bit of music so maybe some puppets it'll okay. be a lot of fun for those for those young ones sure. at six o'clock it's for families so sure. all ages are welcome all to wigglers attend. big and little wigglers. yep <laughs> yep exactly <laughs> Very good. And then Very good. at 7.30, it's intended for teens and adults. Telebration started out as a program storytelling for adults. Okay. But, um, you know, we know storytelling is for everyone. So 7.30 is for adults and teens. Indeed. So you've got something for everybody, all yeah. age groups. Mm -hmm. And it's a family event, so you can kind of join, uh, make it a family event and make this really uh, oral tradition a part of what you do as your family. I think that's something that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, Kay, I want to get to you because yeah. you are a, a storyteller and you're also emceeing the event as well, which yes. is really cool. Uh, tell us about some of the, the tellers that we're going to hear well, uh, on, uh, on this day. Let me first show you the poster Okay. and show the audience the poster. Um, we have got uh, two main storytellers that are coming in for our two big uh, family program okay. and the adult uh, program. At the 4 o'clock program, it's going to be Karen her daughter Vanessa oh, wow, okay. and me. We are, we'll be telling the stories for the Little Wigglers. And then at our six o'clock program, we have Tracy Chipman, who is a Wisconsin okay. storyteller. She's coming from the north. We've got Andy Talley. He is an Illinois storyteller coming um, up from northern Illinois. And they will be the main tellers for our six o'clock and 7.30 program, along with Karen and, and myself. And then we also have um, some musicians from the local Madison area who will be part of our um, program. And they are Brett Wilfred and Jason Horowitz and are part of our poster. Fantastic. So, so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. telling just a whole variety of stories. Now, I'm just, I'm just curious, is, is storytelling more about like you have... Um, you're telling a specific story, maybe not word for word each time, but you know you you tell it maybe a little bit differently each time. How does that how does that work? Every time you tell it, it's different. Every time. You know, it's generally, different. storytellers don't use books. Sometimes they right. use props, and so you're interacting directly with the audience. And so every time you tell it, the audience reaction kind of determines what your next sentence or what your next words might be. Sure. So the basic story is the same each time, but. It definitely changes. Very cool. So cool. What would you say is the value of storytelling in general? Well, really, you know, storytelling is at the core of everything that makes us right. human. And it's the oldest form of education, entertainment, and communication. So people around the world for generations have been using stories to pass along their wisdom, their traditions, and their histories for their future generations. So it's a really traditional part of who we are and what we do. And specifically, we got about 30 seconds left, but can you talk a little bit about uh, children? What benefit do you see this as being to children? I think the number one benefit is vocabulary because mm. um, the more vocabulary a student knows, a child knows, the better their test scores are. It's been proven over and over. And one great element of that is storytelling. Reading, of course, writing, right. but listening to stories, telling stories. 
it doesn't get any better than that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, Kay and Karen, thank you so much for sharing some information on this event. This is Telebration, Wednesday, November 14th. You can get your free tickets by calling Monona Public Library or going uh, mononalibrary.org. Thank you so much again for being thank with you, us. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. And thank you to all of our guests. We're Talk of the Town, and we'll see you next time.